Ralph, really nice to have you with MTD. Nice to meet you, We've talked a little bit with Dan about, you know, where his heartstrings were getting into this machining world, the tinkering that he was in in college with engineering, but right. but going off in other directions throughout his life. And then you guys had a mutual friend that went through something pretty serious. Yeah. And so you both kind of dove in, maybe for similar reasons, maybe for different reasons, but I'd love to hear your side of the story as well. Right. So uh, our mutual friend, um, uh, I met Dan through our friend Steve. Right, and uh, Steve and I worked together for a long, long time. I'm a software developer. Steve was a software developer. We actually uh, worked at the same company together when I first met him, and uh, we off we went off and did some consulting together. Uh, we were always on the boat together. Had a great time together. He was just a super fun, happy guy, and uh, I was fortunate enough to meet um, our, our mutual friend Dan uh, through Steve. And um, so when when Steve uh, was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Dan and I were, you know, very involved with Steve and trying to help him through that process, um, and uh, so uh, that, that's that's how I got into machining. I was very into 3D printing, uh, so machining was very new to me, and I've had a great time understanding and learning the process and working with Dan very closely on that. Well, material removal and material adding, they're kind of different animals, aren't they? Very different, yeah, and that was, uh, I think, the, the shocking uh, understanding for me was that uh, adding material, pretty simple, you press a button, it just kind of works. With machining, the thing that really sort of surprised me was how much work goes into just setting up to cut material away. And, uh, you know, that was sort of eye-opening, and, and I have a lot of respect for, for that, that process and the people who do it, the machinists, and it's just incredible. And I'm having a great time learning more. So, Ralph, this is technically a nonprofit. Is that correct? That's correct. We're a 501c3 C, C3 registered in Florida. Absolutely. And last quarter of 2020 is when this started. Right. Uh, last quarter is when we kind of got all our paperwork together and, and all our financials. And, um, you know, that's when we sort of opened up for business. So our, our first quarter was the last half of 2020. And being so involved with someone you care about so much, and then connecting with PanCan. Right. How has that, I don't know, enticed or grown your passion to help others? Right, so uh, the, the loss of our friend was monumental. It, it was really a blow. And um, Steve was very passionate about this type of work as well. So it was kind of therapeutic for me and for, for Steve, I think, for us to sort of think about how, how can we support a cause that's super important to him. Like he was very into PanCan and that organization. And how can we uh, give back to that and still within that same sort of spirit? Uh, and so Machining with Meaning was born uh, under that sort of uh, guise, yeah. Really, really like that. I, I, I've told Dan, I'm telling you as well, to me, this is, story, this is the type of story that should be shared. And it's fantastic that you guys get to work with such a gracious company as Yamazan, with such wonderful machines like the Brothers Speedio. It's a beautiful machine. But the impact that you guys have likely on the community and spreading the word and giving back and, and being a part of a much broader scale than just hanging out in your garage and making right. parts, right? To me, that's important. Right. And what I think you're doing is incredibly beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, we're having a great time doing it as well. And it really is, you know, we, we sit here and we, we work on things together. We talk about Steve and it really just kind of means a lot to us. Ralph, uh, when I was speaking with Dan, he mentioned that some of the projects you guys are working on, which was helped you give back ten thousand dollars in your first quarter already were some telescope parts that you guys were doing for another company would you like to show us some of that sure sure this is actually uh, a couple of the parts from a newtonian reflector telescope that we've been working on uh, so this bottom part is where the primary mirror will sit this is all machined aluminum parts on the top we have some 3d printed carbon fiber supports that we we generated as well we have some components. These are the collimation bolts that were used, uh, created on the uh, on the Okuma, and um, yeah. So all of this is a work in progress. This will sit about four feet up from there. You probably didn't see that. Uh, supported by some additional carbon fiber, some components here. So yep, all of this was machined here in this shop. These parts on the brother, and then some of these collimation bolts on the Okuma. So we talked a little bit with Dan as well about okay, well. 
this is how we're doing you know projects this is how we give back to the nonprofit so we've discussed that a little bit we discussed a little bit about hey you know if there's anything you guys want to donate whether it be coolant or oil or tooling or any of these kinds of things obviously we're very accepting of that and it's just going to help us give back more but if someone wants to research more about you are there any links where people can look up websites social media where can we find you Yep, so you can go to machiningwithmeaning.org. We have a website up there. It talks about our, our, uh, our, some of our tools and some of our capabilities. And we also have a social media uh, Instagram page uh, so you can see some of the parts that we've been building. I post on there pretty regularly. What's the Instagram page name? Uh, Machining with Meaning. Same with Machining with there Meaning. No underscores, no dots, just as it is. As it is. On your website, is it possible for me to go in and personally donate a little bit of money? Absolutely, yes. We have a PanCan link on the website that will actually take you to a donation page uh, where you can uh, read, again, a little bit more about our cause, and there is a big fat donate button on there. Perfect. Well, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this story as much as I have. I hope you're at least going to research the possibility of reaching out and, and giving these guys a look. I also would like to thank Yamazen and Steve Bond for introducing me to both Dan Absolutely. and Ralph. It's been a real pleasure for me to learn more about what these machines can do for a really great cause. So thank you so much for being with us, Ralph. Thank you, Tony. I really appreciate it. Absolutely.